The International Space Station is full of pollution. The concentration of potentially harmful chemicals in dust collected from air filtration systems on the International Space Station ISS, is higher than in many homes in Europe or the US. New research shows, we might think that man-made installations in Earth orbit should be adequately clean. However, recent research shows that this is not the case. Not only the conditions prevailing in space, but also the astronauts themselves may be responsible for this state of affairs. The description and results of the research were published in the journal, Environmental Science and Technology Letters. To get an idea of the cleanliness level on the International Space Station, scientists decided to examine the air filters there. At the same time, it should be emphasized that these were the first studies of this type. It turned out that the amount of harmful chemicals in the dust in the filters turned out to be even higher than the average for the floor of a typical American or Western European home. Although not exceeding the amount we can also find on Earth. The list of substances found in the filters is quite large. Researchers found polybrominated diphenyl ethers, PBDEs, hexaboromacyclododecan, HBCDDs, brominated flame retardants, BFRs, organophosphate esters, OPS, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, per and polyfluoroalkyl substances, PFASs, and polychlorinated biphenyls, PCBs. All of them have a specific use. And so BFR and OPE can be found in electrical and electronic equipment. Building insulation, furniture fabrics and foams. They are designed to meet fire safety standards by a given product. PAHs, on the other hand, are present in hydrocarbon fuels and are released into the atmosphere at the time of combustion. PCBs were used to seal windows and as dielectric fluids. On the other hand, PFAS otherwise known to us, is one of the ingredients of agents that protect clothes against staining. However, due to the negative impact on human health, the use of some of them was banned altogether, while others were limited. In the context of the above-mentioned substances, it should be emphasized that according to the United Nations Environment Program PCB, part of PFAS and variants of P 
PBD with the prefixes penta, octa, and deca have been recognized as persistent organic pollutants. In turn, part of PAR is carcinogenic in relation to the human body. Restricting the use of part of the OPE is being considered by the European Chemicals Agency. Therefore, the kit found in the filters on the ISS is extremely harmful to the human body. The results of these studies may be important for better planning of future structures placed in space at the stage of selecting materials and the construction itself. However, it is also possible that some of the pollutants found are responsible for the astronauts themselves who took various privately owned items, such as MP3 players, tablets, cameras, medical devices and clothes, on board the ISS. On the other hand, Higher levels of ionizing radiation present in space may accelerate the destruction of some materials, which in turn causes micro and nanoplastic particles to float in the air on the ISS and as a result of forced air circulation, they then end up on the surface of the filters.